Hi, this is the first video and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about trackbacks. I want to talk to you in this video what they are and where they are on your WordPress site. A trackback is a notification that somebody else has posted some content with a link back to you. Okay. Now if you distribute a lot of articles you will probably get hundreds of these and we ignore them. Okay. Um, you can see them in the comments section here. This is all they look like. Okay. So you'll just see there's loads of it's just a little snippet. This is the website where it's on. Okay, loads of different IP addresses, which is always good. Now normally people delete them. You just click up here and delete. But what if you could use them? Now the idea is that you're distributing your content so that Google come and index it all, index all these pages, and of course they find the link back to your money site, um, and that helps you rank higher or get more traffic, or both. But what if they don't index it? Which of course is the case because if you're sending it out to 200 places, not all of these article sites will be any good. You know, not all of them will have much in place to actually get all their pages indexed. So what if you could help them along? Well, of course you can now, because we've had the indexing tool made, which was originally designed just to work for all your easy articles and stuff. But I really wanted to get it to work with um, all these trackbacks because it seemed like such a waste. So on your blog, if you've never seen these before, okay, it may be because you've got this unticked. Allow link notifications from the other blogs, pingbacks and trackbacks. Make sure that has a little tick in it. Okay, so if, if you go here to discussion settings and that is not ticked, just tick it, scroll down and save. Now, that is how simple it is. Okay. In my next video, I'm going to show you the actual plugin.